Hey guys, I'm Michaela. I work at The Pine and I am gonna show you how to curl your hair like this today. And I used a couple of my favorite products by Orbe and R and Co. And I ended up like this. If you want to know um, what the heck I did and how I did it, stay tuned and you'll find out. <laughs> It is protected with my high dive um, and I'm going to section it so I can do my waves. So I'm just gonna section it in two sections. Just get like half of her out of the way. Seriously? Just get rid of that. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna section my hair into just two sections and quickly wave it. What I'm gonna do is use my Marcel iron. It is by the brand Hot Tools. Um, and you can totally just use a regular thumb spring iron. Um, I like this. It's the important part is that the diameter of this Curling iron is an inch and a quarter. Start on, start on my left side because it's my easier side. Um, and I am going to do all the curls away from my face. So on my left side, I'm curling out away from my face. On my right side, the opposite, curling out in a way. So my first section, you grab at the top of your hair. If you were to start at the bottom, See those poor girls? She's gonna get fried off if I start at the bottom. So I really, just everybody make sure you start at the healthier part of your hair towards the middle top. And that move right there, the kind of unwinding as I go, is gonna help me to get and achieve my beachy, soft cougar waves. We're cool. So I just did that curl and I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna let it cool off completely. I'm gonna look like I have an octopus head with tentacles hanging off and around it, but that's how you're gonna achieve um, curls that last all day long. So I just did that. I'm not gonna touch it, but I am gonna go on to, gonna go on to the other side of my face and start a curl there. Um, starting in the front is gonna help my curls set and be strongest in the front, which is where I want them to be strong. Yeah, so my second section, flip her towards my face, starting at the top. Unwind it as you kind of scoot down. And then really important is pull through and smooth the ends. I'm taking pretty big sections so I can just kind of jam right through. Wind up and let it off. Concept. I'm starting on the left side going to the right side so my curls stay nice and strong in the front So don't burn yourself Get rid of that guy And I'm only gonna do a couple turns and pull down I'm gonna leave that because I'm probably Maybe gonna adjust it when my look is complete. So don't be too meticulous. Don't perfect each curl as you're doing them because that's just gonna make your hair fall flat or you're gonna burn yourself or you're gonna burn your hair off. It's gonna be bad. Don't touch it. 
。嗯嗯，等太久。Curling away from my face and elevating my curls. That's an important tip. Directing those strands up as you curl them with your hot iron are gonna help with the volume. Yeah. Okay, so I have two curls on both sides of the front of my face, and now I'm just gonna go ahead, quickly curl the rest. I'm not alternating, I don't really worry about that. I'm just gonna curl away from my face both sides and meet in the middle in the back. and going the only little piece I have left is this guy so I'm gonna quickly grab her oh so I'm gonna quickly grab her curl her up real quick definitely not holding my iron as long as the other pieces because she was so small and I don't want to burn her off but this is what you're gonna look like because you haven't touched, you haven't touched your curls, you've been letting them cool. So we look like Shirley Temple, we look like George Washington, we look like an octopus or something, but that's how we want it for right now. So I'm gonna fix this whack ass piece right here. Let's see, she's good, just this girl. Le piece de resistance. I think that's how you say that. Is I'm gonna use some of Orbe's dry texture spray from my roots to ends. And this is my favorite finishing product. It is kind of like dry shampoo's like rich, prettier cousin. Um, she adds texture, she adds some sparkle, and she absorb some oils throughout the day and it's really just the most beautiful finishing product that these beachy waves could ask for. So I'm gonna shake her up and spray her all over the place. Picking up some, some lengths and spraying up my roots first. shake out my curls which I kind of already started just by spraying my dry texture spray I'm gonna rake through with my skin too wild all right there's a little more all right I'm done so these are my everyday curls as you can see they look very fancy but still match that kind of easy breezy beachy vibe that I try to base my life off of. <laughs> I feel great. My hair feels and smells great. I hope this video made some sense to you guys. I hope you learned something. Let me know and follow me on Instagram and YouTube. I'm so ready for work now. I have a lot more ideas for videos like my um, air drying tips and tricks video um, involving high dive again. Um.
go figure. Um, but I would love to share them with you guys. So, um, 